Hi, my name is Yota Masuko. I own a small record shop based in Japan. I've been listening to a lot of folk, jazz, and ethnic music of the world, and now I arrive to your music. Your initial LP is famous for The Collector, but I, but I was the first time listening to your very early cassette tape keyboard fantasies. It was a very emotional experience for me. Also, the sleeve art is fantastic. I would like to introduce your music to Japan, I guess Japanese music addict. Do you have stock copy of Keyboard Fantasies? I would like to buy this if you have. That's it. That's it. Let it go, let it go, yeah. It's okay. Let it come, let it go. Not when I listen to it, but when I sing it. When I sing it, I remember what it what it felt like to have that that come through. How magical it was to me, right? The words, like, because that's the same thing. Same thing with the words. It's like I, I many musicians write, um, many many songwriters are actually poets who write music to their poetry. But I am not. I am a melody. then has to go, what is this trying to tell me? <laughs> and eventually, if I really, really just be very quiet with it and not try to force it, it speaks to me. So when I when I listen to it, it's 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 kind of, oh well, that's lovely. A little goes on a little long, good grief. I mean, really was, you know, like I could have done it in four and a half minutes. What, what's this an eight minute thing, you know? So what, it's like, wow, it's really indulgent, right? <laughs> it's like, but when I sing it now, I sing it with it in, a, in, a, in three and a half minutes or so. So it's, it's, it's you know, it's down to that. And when I sing it and I sing those words, I think, oh, very prayerful for me. When I when I wrote this, I I said to people, this is for your children. I did. I said this is for your children to listen to and it will perhaps maybe make them feel very calm and make go to sleep easily. And people in that time were were doing exactly that. They were they would write me and say, oh, I play this for my children, and they just zone out. Well, those were the children that were being born at that time, and they are now the ones who are playing with me. <laughs> but I, you know, the reaction to most people was, of my generation and uh, a bit younger, was like, they, they didn't understand this at all, right? And now this young folk, I call them young folk, but, Indigo rising generation. They totally relate to this because this type of music is is everywhere now. And it's for them, right? It's uh, it's speaking about stuff about hard things and things about how we are essentially one with our environment and our universe which these young people, your generation, already know. <laughs> they know that, so it, it relates. They relate to it, yeah. We are ever 